What's up my friends, 915 Mang here doing a video today on some ugly Aptasia that I have in my 150, I have it in my Lagoon, I have it all over the place and this stuff is some good Aptasia won't die. I've tried all the good stuff, I've tried the, uh, you know, big brand name box Aptasia killer, I've tried straight up calc washer, calc paste, I've tried it all. Um, I got a copper band butterfly, but I got some stuff called F Aptasia from my buddy. Um, I saw him on the forums on Reef to Reef, and there's his information if you're interested. I think you might want to go ahead and get this stuff because it's under 20 bucks. Now this is going to be an honest review. This stuff uh, is like my go-to uh, last chance type of stuff besides the natural uh predators that will eat Aptasia. I've tried Nudibank Bergia by from my buddy uh, who hooked me up with some of those. I've tried uh, removing them. I've tried super gluing these beasts on you know covering them up. I've tried Kalkwasser. tried everything and as you can see I can grow some healthy Aptasia. It's been a problem. It's all over my 150, my lagoon. Um, it's bothering my zoanthids. My pallies and these happen to be Captain America's but they're not fully open because of this damn Aptasia. Now Aptasia is an anemone. It's a pest anemone. Uh, as you can see it, my pallies are closed because this stuff is touching it. Um, they're stinging the crap out of it and uh, it's time for this stuff to go. What I've done is I've organized all my uh, frags that have the Aptasia on there so that way when I hit it, I can just go in there and, uh, you know, cover them all up. Uh, the first time I'm using it, shake it up real good and uh, stir it. Um, but I'm going to tell you how not to do stuff uh, because, you know what, I mess up all the time. I started stirring this stuff around. It's really solid on the bottom and I just started swirling it with the needle, which is really dumb because I clogged it up. Um, I had to get one of those computer air sprayers and then uh, clear out the uh, needle. I also used hot water. But now it's time to say F Aptasia. This stuff is going to get a good dose my first time doing this. And uh, the goal is to cover it up. And now I do want to tell you uh, from reading the forums that you do not want to get this on some coral that you like. Um, because it will uh, mess it up and supposedly it burns it but like I said this is going to be an honest review uh, pictures are worth a thousand words and video is worth even more um, I'm showing you exactly how I'm doing it the first time doing it on my setup and as you can see this frag was in infested with Aptasia now you do want to wait 15 minutes I waited a total of 20 minutes and you're going to wait with zero flow in your tank. Your tank is going to be okay with zero flow for 20 minutes. Now this stuff is like calc on steroids without the mess. Okay. When you add calc and you, you know, add it to your Aptasia, as soon as that flow kicks on, that calc is going to blow around. The anemone the Aptasia is going to sink into some crevices that you can't even find. But with this stuff, um, the flow is going to be kicked on and everything is going to be contained on the frag or on your on that Aptasia, no problem. Four days later, fast forward to four days later, um, I got curious and I started taking this stuff off. As you can see, I'm using a turkey baster, you know, I'm squeezing out all the calc or whatever mixture it is because it's like a crust. The crust has kept all that um, mixture on that anemone and as you can see it looks like some green hair algae but it's the dead anemones now I am gonna go ahead and let it sit longer than the four days I did clean up some frags with the turkey baster but I'm gonna let this stuff sit even longer um, so that way we can really see what's going on so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I post videos mostly mostly every week and you can kind of keep up and see what's going on 
Uh, I'm a YouTuber and a reef and this is real problems that me and you have. Um, but as you can see, um, I'm going to be cleaning it up, squirting that stuff in the container. And uh, I'm really impressed with this stuff because, like I said, I've used it all. And that other stuff, as soon as the flow kicks on, it blows all over the place. Um, and the anemones will come back out and say F you. But today I said F you, Aptasia. And uh, this stuff seems to be working really, really good after only four days. I was just curious. I wanted to do a video and see where we're at. The rest of them, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it alone. And as you can see, the Aptasia, it looks like a little green thing of slime. If you're interested, I'll put the links down below underneath the video. This video is for you reefers who have problems just like me. And I hope this helped you out. Go get you some. I like it. I'm going to nuke my 150. I'm going to finish hitting up all the corals in the lagoon and frag, rag, frag tanks and all that. And this is the end game, end result. All its little buddies right there uh, turned into little dust in this uh, collection pan that I got right here. Good stuff. And uh, my 150 is going to be looking on track. Like I said, I've used it all. Bergia, Peppers, Mint Shrimp, all the other stuff. And this stuff has 